Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this ski mask. This is for my teenage son and his head is 22 inches in circumference. And as you can see, there is a small opening here for the eyes. So the ski mask totally covers your face except for the eyes. And I found this pattern online. It's from crochetjewel.com and the link is in my description below. So let's get started. For the materials, I use a worsted yarn, size J crochet hook, scissors, and blunt needle. So let's start with a knot and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then slip stitch in the first chain like this to form a ring. Then round one, chain two. And then 12 double crochets on the ring. So that's one, two, so just like this. So I'll cut off the video and I'll be back when I have 12 double crochets on the ring. So I now have 12 double crochets on the ring. To end, to end this round, just slip stitch on the first double crochet like this. And this is round one. Round two, chain two. And double crochet on the first stitch here. And then two double crochets in each stitch around. So on the next stitch, one double crochet, two double crochets on the same stitch. So just continue with a pattern, two double crochets in each stitch. And I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. So this will be the last stitch here, double crochet, and then to end this round, slip stitch again on the first double crochet like this. And this is round two. Round three, chain two, then two double crochets on the first stitch here, one, two in the same stitch, and then double crochet in the next stitch, just one double crochet, and then two double crochets in the next stitch, so one, two in the same stitch, and then one double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat the pattern, two double crochets in the next stitch, and then one double crochet. So I'm gonna cut off the video, I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. So I'm just gonna continue the double crochet, the pattern. And then to end this round, just slip stitch on the first double crochet here and this is round three round four chain two double crochet in the first stitch then two double crochets in the next stitch so that's one then two in the same stitch and then double crochet in the next two stitches so first one double crochet here and then second, one double crochet two. And then two double crochets in the next stitch. So one, two in the same stitch, two double crochets. So repeat the pattern. What double crochet in the next two stitches and then two double crochets. So this is one first and then another double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets here. One, two in the same stitch. So I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round, uh, continuing with a pattern. And then to end this round again, just slip stitch on the first double crochet here. And this is round four. Round five, chain two. And then double crochet in the next two stitches. So double crochet here in the first, then double crochet in the next, and then two double crochets in the next stitch. So that's one double crochet, another double crochet in the same stitch, and then double crochet in the next three stitches. So this is the first, second, and third in each. And then two double crochets in the next stitch. So this is one and another one on the same stitch. So repeat the pattern. 
double crochet in the next three and then two double crochets in the next stitch. So I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round and continuing with the pattern, double crochet in the last stitch here. And then again, just slip stitch on the first double crochet here. And that's the end of round five. Round six, chain two, double crochet in the next stitch, but on the back, back loops only, so like this. And then double crochet in each stitch around on the back loops only. So like this. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. Just continuing with the double crochets in each stitch on the back loops and then just like the previous rounds just slip stitch on the first double crochet to end the round and this is round six so round seven to thirteen just repeat round six so i'm going to continue my work and i'll be back when i have um, finished round 13 and then i'll show you the next step so this is now how my piece looks like after round 13 and then from here just fasten off like this so next is round 14 so from the joining stitch here count 21 towards the right so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 and 21 so we are going to get our yarn and slip it here because we are going to start our uh, next row here. And then we'll go back to the joining stitch again. And then count 21 towards the other side. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 21. Here, and we put a marker. Put a marker like this so I'm just using um, leftover yarn so slip it like this and that will be our marker and then we'll go back to the other yarn to the other side and then start our round 14 so to start the round 14 just yeah slip the yarn and then make chain two and then double crochet on the first stitch on the back loops only and double crochet in each stitch around so i'm here now towards the marker just continue with the double crochet in each stitch on the back loops and then when we hit the marker right here on this stitch we stop and then continue with chain 17 now this is now 17 chains so we'll take out our marker we don't need it anymore and then we will continue we will join this round with a slip stitch on the first double crochet here And just fasten off. So this is now how my piece looks like after round 14. So from here we turn our piece this way. This is the front and this is the back side. And to continue with round 15, get our yarn again. And then on the joining stitch here, slip stitch our yarn like this tie it and then we'll start with our round 15 
So slip stitch and then chain two and then double crochet on the first stitch on the back loops only like this and then continue with a double crochet in each stitch around. So I am now here towards where the chain 17 is. So when you reach that part, just continue with the double crochet like this. You just double crochet in each of the chain. Then I'm going to cut off the video. And then here towards the other side of the chain 17, just continue like this. Double crochet in each chain and the other side like this. So I just continue. Then I'm going to cut off the video. I'll be back towards the end of the round. So I'm here now towards the end of the round. Then doing the last stitch of double crochet and then just like the rest of the round, slip stitch on the first double crochet here. And that's the end of round 15. So this is the back and this is the front. Round, si round 16, chain 2 and then double crochet in the first stitch on the back loops only. And then double crochet in each chain around. So this is just basically a repeat of round 15. So I'm going to continue my work until the project is done. The pattern says up to 23 rounds but I'll, my, I'll make mine up to 25 rounds because my son wanted longer. So I'll be back when I'm done. So here now is my finished project. Thank you for watching. <music>